It's November 2013. We're going to do something a little bit different today. My plan is to take the drag line bucket, boom off of the 10B, and hook up what Osiris called the drag shovel front end, which to everybody would be a cable backhoe front. Now, Bersiris says this is a pretty easy process. All you have to do is take the bucket off, take the boom off, fair lead, install the backhoe boom, and the auxiliary A-frame. Uh, the problem is, it's going to take at least two people to do this, and it's going to require the use of the 22B to get it all done. So I'm going to go through the process here with you a little bit. I won't be able to film everything. Today I do not have an assistant to help me out. But I'll show you how we get started here and I'll do some of the stuff and then I'll record a little bit more as we go. To take off the bucket, the drag bucket, there's just a big clevis here. We'll undo the pin and drag cable will be free. Here on the bucket on the hoist cable we have what's called a rope wedge and the cable comes down through the socket here and you loop it up and you stick this wedge in there and then you pound it in and with the cable pulling up on it that wedge goes up in there both ends of the cable sticking out and that holds it in place so in order to remove this we'll have to get a big punch and stick it in here and drive that rope wedge out of there and then that cable will be free and the bucket will be off in the machine. And I'm going to go ahead and do that now. I'm going to start the machine up. I'm going to take the bucket off here and then we'll uh, get to the next step. Here's a rope wedge that we had to pound out to get the hoist cable off. So the bucket is now disconnected. And the boom for the 10B is lying on the ground. Now next would be to take the boom cable, hoist cable off of this machine. And there's another wedge up there on the top of the house where the cable's secured to the machine. And that's almost impossible to get at. So I figured I would take the guards off here on the point of the boom and then that way I can just slip the cables off the end, take the boom out, and then when we put the auxiliary A-frame on the machine, I'll just draw in some cable and loop it around the shivs on the auxiliary A-frame and that part will be taken care of. We got the fair lead off and that was the hardest part so far it took me a couple of hours uh, this big pin right here which goes in from the bottom had to be driven out and there's no way to get at it from the top there's no opening at the top where you could pound this pin out so 
using that little hole in the side of the pin there where the bolt goes through to hold it in place I had to tap on the edge of that hole with a punch for about two hours finally got the fair lead out so next step is I'm going to take this drag cable off of the drum in there because the backhoe front has a cable already on it and then from there we'll stall the a-frame and we'll put the backhoe front on and we'll be done all right we're getting a little closer here got the a-frame in place the 22b is holding it up there right now i managed to get the pins in did that all by myself got the backhoe boom in position here i'm gonna need some help doing that that's pretty tough but next thing i'll be doing is i'll reeve up the cables on the a-frame there those are the boom hoist cables that hold that in position and then it'll be uh, attaching the boom as soon as I get some help. We're in a home stretch now. I got some help. Uh, we got the boom in position. And we were able to get the pins in. Really without too much difficulty. I guess it's not too bad when you have some help. Up to this point I did everything by myself. And the A-frame is up. Uh, with the hoist cable hooked to it and now we're in the process of putting the two cables on uh, we just have to attach each end we have to attach uh, one end of the cable to the top of the back hole there and then the drag cable there needs to be attached to the drum inside the machine and just to be safe we got the 22b here uh, with the cable in place holding it up. So hopefully we'll be done here in a few minutes All right, we got the cables in place only thing I got to do now is fire it up and See if it works. All right. It uh, probably has not been on this machine in 20 years, maybe even more so I'm gonna give it a shot. I'll start it up. Uh, you can look for possibly an instructional video on the cable backhoe come next spring and uh, hopefully some digging videos with it as well so thanks for watching